Hey YouTube, today I thought I'd make a quick video to explain how I perform my consecration ritual just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. Now you're quite welcome to use this ritual, but if possible I'd suggest trying to write your own consecration ritual. Now, every ritual tool should be cleansed and consecrated before use. Cleansing a tool removes any residual energies and negative influences and you can do that simply by using a smudge stick, some salt or salt water or you can always ground it in the earth for a full moon cycle. Once the tool has been cleansed it's ready to be consecrated. Now consecration is a formal ritual where you dedicate your ritual tools to their magical or spiritual purpose. There's a lot of different consecration rituals out there and ultimately it comes down to what works for you and what you're comfortable with. But for my ritual you're going to need a white candle, a sage stick or cleansing incense if that's what you prefer, some salt, just plain table salt will do, matches to light your candle and smudge stick with obviously, and some water, preferably from a pure source or a natural source such as rain or the creeks. Now, what you need to do is uh, make sure that you have a dedicated working space or altar to perform the ritual on. And then you're going to cast circle, making sure that you have all the items inside that you require so you're not breaking circle during the ritual. So you place the tool that you're wanting to consecrate into the centre of your circle and place your projective hand, which is the hand you write with, over the tool and visualise pure energy flowing from the earth through your body, out your hand and into the tool that you're consecrating. While you're sending this energy, name the tool and declare that you're consecrating it for use in magic and ritual. You can give your tool a unique name if you like, but it's not necessary and it's quite acceptable, acceptable to say something as simple as, I consecrate this a theme for use in my sacred circle. As you perform each of the following steps, focus on the purpose of the actions you're performing and make sure your intent is clear. Sprinkle the salt over the ethane and say, with this salt I imbue you with the power of earth. Pass the tool through the sage smoke and say, with this sage I imbue you with the power of the element of air. Pass it through the candle flame or just over if your tool is flammable and say, with this candle I imbue you with the power of the element of fire. Sprinkle water over the tool and say, with this water I imbue you with the power of the element of water. After the tool has been empowered with each of the four elements, say, by the god and goddess I bless and consecrate this athame so that it may be used in my rituals. May it always be used for the best and highest good, so mote it be. After that, your tool is ready for use. Just make sure that you consecrate each tool separately and that you always ground any excess energy and close circle after your ritual. So that's how I perform my consecration. I'd love to hear from you guys about what you do or how you do it differently. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them.